This Cruel Moon is an adaptation of the middle movement of Wine Dark Sea, my symphony for band. That movement is, the whole symphony is about the story of the Odyssey by Homer. The middle movement, which became This Cruel Moon, is about Calypso, this beautiful goddess who is banished to live all of eternity alone on this island. And one day, um, due to a shipwreck, um, Odysseus washes ashore on her beaches and she finds him, assuming that she's going to be alone for all of eternity, and she finds this person on her beach. And he's near death, he's the only survivor of his shipwreck. She uh, takes him home, nurses him back to health, and falls in love with him. She's, you know, just so happy that she is not going to be alone for all of eternity. He's there for seven years before he eventually says that he, by the way, has a wife back home. So uh, he's gonna go now. It's been a great seven years, thanks, and we're done. So she uh, is distraught, but makes it possible for him to leave by um, making him a raft and filling it with food and wine and a uh, breeze to uh, allow him to sail away. And at the end of the, that movement, or at the end of the story, uh, he's on the raft sailing away to go home to his wife, and she is left alone on the beach where she'll be alone truly this time for all of eternity. And she you know, watches, watches him sail away and he never looks back at her. Um, so that's the middle moon of Wine Dark Sea and then I adapted it and called it This Cruel Moon. And that version is six minutes long, not 12. It doesn't require harp. It's in B flat, not G flat. So all those things make it playable. And I think it's a grade, it's probably a grade three on the page, but I think there's a lot that can be brought uh, with more maturity from the players as well, because there's a lot of rubato that the conductor can bring to it, and a lot of solos, a lot of expression that make the piece much better if it's performed that way.